What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and today we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate 1.0. This is the most recent release from Adobe, and I've got to give kudos to Adobe for actually releasing this as a free program. Uh, I'm used to using After Effects, and I've done a little bit of flash in the past uh, with an mp3 player a long time ago but after effects I love and this program is just like being at home but they do not have integrated so far as of yet a way to embed or import in audio to add it into your project and so I do not like dealing with not as in not being able to do something. So I did some research and found a JS script from a website called uh, there you go buzz.jsobit.com so just go to yeah, listen, to, <laughs> listen to the kids. Just go to this website right here click on download buzz 1.05 or 1.0.5 beta <clears throat> excuse me download it and this is what we're going to be creating today okie dokie hang on for one second okay we're back I actually had the page loaded for a document that wasn't even there but anyway this is what we're going to be creating I downloaded this GIF image right here and this is what we're going to do to it Okay, as you just heard, we have thunder in the background, so let's move this over. Once again, you need to go to this website, download this file, we'll have this link. There's the kids again. Every single time you run your cursor over that car, you um, get them kids. So anyway, download that file. And now let's go ahead and create a brand new file. Okay, first thing we want to do is that we want to uh, go ahead and save. Okay, let's go to lesson. We're going to do lesson two. And we're going to name this one three. Save it. Okay, now that we've got our actual HTML file saved, we're going to go to file, import. And we're going to grab a hold of this file, which we're going to actually move over to here and put it inside of a graph folder. Then grab a hold of it. And now we have it here. So let's just animate it just a little bit. We're going to make it fade in and then right up in there. Okay. <clears throat> Now the next thing that we want to do is that we have to get the script from here. We're going to copy out this script right here. Move that back over. Okay, that's really annoying. So now what we do here is that we click on our action. And then paste in our action here. And since our folder um, we have a sound file. Let's go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a sound file that we're going to put inside of our folder. And it is Thunder, which is right here. You can download it. I'll also provide the link to where you can go and download that as well. So we got our Thunder MP3 file sitting inside of our sound folder. Okay, so let's go grab a hold of that one more time. Uh, since we've already put the script in here, we need to add Thunder. You don't have to put MP3 at it as it's got the information right here for the formats. Go ahead and click right there. Go ahead and save your work. Now, the next thing that we want to do is this little line of code right here needs to be embedded inside of our file and I need to find our file there we go so 
we go into here right click on 3.html open with notepad okay come over here copy paste it in yonder buzz.js so we need to get our buzz file which I've got right here and now our bus file sitting inside of this folder and now we save move this over and move this over now once you click into this area it should give you a warning there you go that the file has been changed outside of animate do you want to reload it so basically choose yes okay then it's going to reload it and there you go now it's not going to play the sound inside of animate okay you've got to um, preview in a browser and there you go once again reload it And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you add sound to your um, to your anime files. And one thing you want to be careful on is this loop right here. You might want to um, make sure that you're not looping. That way, it doesn't loop all the way through, unless that's what you want in your project. But anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it wasn't too long. And uh, hopefully this will get you going inside of some very quick sound adding into your Adobe Edge Animate project. Once again, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week.